Joe Hopkins here, and I got my kit guitar. Now, I've, I've talked about this guitar before. I've done, I did a review on it before, but here's the thing, that was a long time ago. And I thought it might be a good idea to go over how, how good has it been? I mean, you know, honestly, this is an incredibly heavily used guitar. I have played the crap out of it. It, it is, oh, might be, might just about be my favorite guitar. Um, I really, really like this guitar a lot. I think a big part of that has to do with the fact that because it's a kit guitar, I put it together myself. Not only did I put it together myself, I ended up doing like the whole setup, obviously, because you have to do that yourself. Nobody sets up a kit guitar for you. You have to do that. And uh, that means it kind of plays the way I want it to. Plus, I, I wanted an SG style guitar. I wanted a yellow one. There are a couple companies that make bright yellow SGs now, but at the time there weren't. <laughs> I've seen, uh, oh, what is it? Firefly now makes one and Hard Luck Kings makes one, but at the time they, nobody did. So I spent, I think it was like about 80 bucks or so for the kit and uh, I ordered it with some other guitars, so I, I don't know, shipping changes over the years, but it didn't matter, I was already buying something else, and you know, you could combine the shipping, so I, I ordered the kit, and uh, I think the only other expenses were paint, and I bought a, a fret polish kit, because I kind of had the feeling that I might want to polish up the frets, and when I got the uh, kit, I, I was right. It looked like it'd been setting in a warehouse for a while, setting on a, a shelf or something. The, the frets were a little bit dingy. They were fine, but, you know, a little bit of fret polish fixed them right up. And, well, just to go over it a little bit, the neck is your standard Harley Benton neck. The frets are great. The uh, tuners are sufficient. They're like the tuners you get on any base basic Harley Benton, you know, not, not the ones with the upgraded tuners, but the basic, basic tuners. And they work just fine. The pickups aren't anything special. It's Harley Benton pickups, right? Whatever generic ones they send with it. I didn't have to do any soldering, which was cool. It had a plug for the pickups. Uh, it's all very basic hardware, basic stuff, bolt on neck, makes it easy to put together. Uh, if you buy one of these, I would recommend sanding it better than I did mine. I didn't get all the rough spots off of mine, so there's like a little, it's a little rough here and in here. There are spots I could have sanded better, but whatever. I did a half-assed job on it, but I like it. It's, it's my guitar and I like it. Uh, the electronics have held up really well. Everything works just like it should. The, the switch when it's in the middle position, feels a touch loose. But once again, it wasn't like that when I got it, and that, that is because I played and played and played this thing. I think I could just tighten it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I could, I could just tighten up the nut a little bit and it would that would fix that. But uh, overall, it's a little bit dusty because it's been hanging up on the wall, right? It gets taken down and played a lot, but my back room here, my studio, is rather dusty. I have to say, overall, man, this guitar has held up incredibly well. When I say I've played it a lot, I mean, I've had it over two years, and I have recorded a, a crazy number of songs with this guitar. It, it's, when I'm just noodling around, it, it's pretty close to my go-to guitar. I mean, if I just wanna screw around, I grab this one. It's about my favorite. To be honest with you, I, I I know I said that about my Wolf WLP, and and the Wolf is kind of my favorite guitar, but it's it also gets doesn't get taken out as much because it's in a case and it's a really nice guitar, and I kind of don't want to beat it up. This one I don't mind beating up. I've been beating it up, but uh, because it gets played so much, and because I've I've just hammered on it so much, it I mean it's all still stock. Not, I didn't change anything on it, all the parts that came with it. I kind of meant to when I first got it. I thought, oh, I'll put better stuff on it, but that eh, works so well, I've just left it alone. And uh, the fact that it still is in the shape it's in, it, it, it's held together this well. I mean, the paint job is less than great, but that's on me, isn't it? <laughs> but I like the way it looks, right? 
And anyway, the paint's starting to wear in spots because I've played it so much. So I'm sure you guys want an idea of how it, how it sounds, right? And if it still sounds as good as it did when I got it. And yeah, it pretty much does. Let's take a look here. And there we go. Get a nice clean tone. There, that's recording. Yeah, nice clean tone. Sounds good, you know? Yeah, that's the uh, the bridge pickup. That's the one I usually use. I really kind of like the bridge pickup. Let me turn up the... Uh... Yeah, get the neck pickup. Yeah, neck pickup sounds good. But I, I do, I lo really like the bridge pickup on this guitar. Yeah, if I was gonna do a bunch of neck pickup stuff, I think I'd probably do it on a different guitar. Nothing against this one, I'm just, I'm in love with the bridge pickup on this, right? Uh, I got other guitars I think the neck pickup sounds better on, but this sounds, this sounds, let's go back to the neck pickup. This sounds good enough, you know? Nice full sound, I like it. But uh, let's let's see what this guitar is really good at, which is something a little more rocking, you know. Kind of rock in there, right? You know, get uh, get that thing going. Yeah, it's a nice rock and roll machine. I love the way it sounds. Now, neck pickup sounds good too. We'll give it a try, right? Sounds cool, right? I just, I dig, dig the bridge. Right, and that, that's with some crunch, but let's take a look at some more crunch. Let's get crunchier, right? Yeah.
there we go, a little bit of noodling around. And for anybody who wants to know how the, uh, the neck pickup sounds on this, you know. Yeah, that's how it sounds. Right? Good sounding guitar. I like it. I personally like it. Let's, uh, let's cut that a little bit and talk about the axe some. Talked about it a little bit already, but uh, the nice thing about one of these uh, kit guitars, and not just Harley Benton, but any kit guitar you get, although I really like Harley Benton, the nice thing about a kit guitar is it's kind of as good as you want to make it, right? The cool thing is it totally demystifies taking a guitar apart. Let's say you don't want to take a guitar apart and change things in it. You're, you're a little intimidated. You buy a kit guitar because you put, to get, put it together in the first place, it takes some of the mystery out of it. You know how it went together because you put it together. So it kind of makes it a little less scary to change pickups, to change tuners, to bridge, you know, electronics, whatever you want to uh, change out on it makes it, makes it a lot, uh, lot easier mentally, right? Overcome that mental hurdle to do that. Now, I've helped people with kits before and I've seen a lot of guitar kits. I got this one myself and I am honestly, truly impressed with it. I gotta say, I, I like the Harley Benton kit mostly because I really like Harley Bentons. I think they make really good instruments. So with the Harley Benton, you get one of uh, a really good version of one of the most important parts on this whole guitar. And that is this neck, right? Neck. The neck on a guitar is incredibly important, especially on a kit. I mean, the body is pretty much a hunk of wood that's cut to a shape and routed out to fit all the stuff in. As long as the holes are in the right places, you're good. And if you know a little bit of woodworking, then even if the holes are a little bit off or you want to move them to different places, you can do that. It's, it's just a hunk of wood, right? The neck is really the, uh, the sticking point with something like this more than any other part of the guitar. Obviously, pickups you can change, electronics you can change, you can buy new tuners. If there's anything on it you don't like, it's all replaceable. Kits are pretty cheap, so that leaves you plenty of money to buy other parts to put in it. Now, I like the parts that are in this, but if I didn't, it's not a big deal. The neck, that really is kind of the thing that you're buying, uh, that you want quality of more than anything else, because that can be the hardest thing to replace, to find a replacement for. I mean, some kits have standard sizes. Like you get a Strat kit and it's a standard Stratocaster style neck and you can order another neck. But some of them, it might be a little bit harder. Like with this, uh, this is an SG style guitar. I guess I'd have to measure the neck and measure the uh, scale length to uh, get another one that'll fit, but you know, it's, it's a bolt on and a lot of SGs aren't. So I might end up a little bit at a loss as to what'll fit, right? But Harley Benton does really good necks. I mean, the, uh, the worst thing you're gonna find is if you have like a high fret or something, you know? Which this doesn't, this is incredibly good. Uh, also, when you're working on an instrument like this, sometimes fret work and, and messing with the neck can be the most intimidating part of setting up a guitar or messing with a guitar. And this neck was perfect, right out of the box. I mean, it was really good. Uh, I did do a little bit of truss rod adjustment, you know, obviously when I was setting it up, but it, it went right into where I wanted it to be. And uh, yeah, all the frets are in there real good. I haven't had any fret separation, nothing's, started to crack on the neck or any, any frets coming loose or coming up or anything like that. And it's kind of cool, the, uh, the neck on this, I don't know if it's still like this on their kits, it came with binding down it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, this is honestly a really, really good instrument for the money. Uh, especially since, you know, once again, how it looks 
because it's a kit, is up to you. Whatever color you want, whatever finish you want. Uh, this is a basswood body, so obviously you're not going to get like a flame maple look because it's not a maple body. But in general, how it looks is kind of up to you. It, it's easy if you go with a solid color like I did, but there are other finishes you can do. Uh, especially if you know a little bit about what you're doing with guitars or with working with wood in general. Makes it pretty easy. The one thing I would warn people of is the, uh, the electronics ground to the uh, bridge peg, right? The peg that goes in and holds the bridge. And that gets pounded in with a rubber mallet. I broke my finger putting that in. Be careful when you're pounding stuff and don't miss and, and hit your finger. <laughs> this is actually a print of my finger right here in the, in the paint where I smacked it, right? Split that sucker right down the middle. Didn't go to the doctor. I didn't know it split it. I, I didn't know it hurt it that bad until a couple weeks later when it wasn't healed. And I went to the doctor and the doctor took an x-ray and said, yeah, you split it, but it's about healed up now. So, you know, whatever. I digress. That's my own stupidity. But if you want a good kit guitar to put together, this is definitely a good one. I'm going to see if Harley Benton is still selling these, and I'll put a link in the description below if they are. If you look and there is no link, then that means they're not selling this kit at the time that I'm talking about it right now. It comes and goes. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. But you can find this usually intermittently and, or another kit. They do have other kits, some that look pretty cool. They have one that looks kind of like a PRS style guitar kit and uh, looks pretty good. Also dual humbuckers, I'm guessing it's kind of the same, uh, uh, same pickups and hardware that are on this more or less. So, and they have a Les Paul style kit. Also bolt on neck, right? They're all bolt ons. Uh, I don't really want to mess around with a set neck on a kit myself personally, but that's just me. So, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Tell me if you did. Subscribe to my channel and, and, and love me the way that I love you. Because I truly love you guys and I need love too, okay? I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.